So Stellar Blade recently released a couple of days ago, at the time of me recording this, and I have been playing it, and I've been really enjoying it. I already knew that I was going to probably enjoy it a lot when I was first playing the demo, but the full game came out, the gameplay is amazing, the music is fantastic, the costume designs are absolutely stellar, no pun intended. And I'm interested in the characters and the story. So this game is pretty much everything that I was wanting it to be and everything that I thought that I was going to end up really enjoying. So why am I still talking about it even after making two videos now? Well, this has to do with some censorship issues that the game has been dealing with. After the game was launched, they released a day one patch. And in the day one patch, they changed a couple of things. One of the things that they changed was happening before the game came out. And it was the fact that there was a graffiti sign that said hard. And it was right next to a sign that had an R so hard R. And of course this is a thing that's more so known in America, the word hard R or the N word with the hard R. And that's seen as racist obviously because you don't want to say the N word with the hard R especially towards a person who is black. You don't really want to say something like that because it's, it's deemed as being very racist. But something that you need to remember is the fact that Shift Up, the development team behind Stellar Blade, are South Korean. They are a Korean based studio so you can argue and I wouldn't even say argue. I think it's just blatantly obvious that there just was a language barrier and a language miscommunication that happened when they were making this and they didn't understand that this was something that people were going to get offended by especially people over in America because this is mainly an issue of race for people in the United States. So they went ahead and they changed it. They changed it to crime instead of hard but then you had some dude for whatever reason try to use the urban dictionary be like oh well actually cri crime r or crimer is also a derogatory term for black people and black people who commit crimes or something like that it's very stupid i'm not even gonna look up the tweet because it's so dumb i don't even want to give the person who made that the time of day because it's just not worth talking about other than that though people have been complaining about outfits specific outfits within stellar blade end up being censored and you're seeing some of the images on screen and you see the version 1.0 screenshot of eve wearing a particular outfit called holiday rabbit and then you see 1.002 and it's eve with the same outfit holiday rabbit but there are pieces of fabric that now cover up her body a little bit more more so around the pelvic region area and it covers up her chest more. Many people have already found other outfits within the game. I'm not sure how many of the outfits have changed since the version 1.0 update or the version 1.0 version of the game and the current updated version we have now. But you can still get access to these costumes before they were changed and censored if you're playing on the physical release version of Stellar Blade. Like I have a physical release, so if I really wanted to, I can get rid of the updates and still be able to play with these costumes, but the way that they were intended. So why are people mad? Obviously, if you're someone like me and you use your fucking brain, more than like 5% of your brain, you realize that the reason why people are mad about this is because Shift Up said themselves that every single release version of Stellar Blade in all countries, even the Japanese version, were going to be uncensored. They gave us their word, they said that that's what was going to happen. There wasn't going to be any censorship, but unfortunately, at the time of the release on the 27th of April, we got these versions of these costumes and they had been completely changed from what we saw. They also changed some of the gore. So if you see stuff before patch or even in the demo, whenever Eve would kill the final boss of the demo, she would be completely covered in blood. And then you see the final release version and she's not covered in nearly enough blood so they also censored some of the gore within the game granted the game is still pretty gory and also granted there is still plenty of outfits within stellar blade that still show off a lot of sexualness they're still very sexy and very revealing in nature but it's the fact that the censorship still happened anyways it's the fact that most likely sony because they own the publishing rights for the game so they have a lot of creative control over what they want the developers to do and not do so most likely sony told shift up specifically to change these costumes but obviously they couldn't do it in time to change the physical release version so they were just in, in the final moments right final like last minute they told them just create a patch because you're already going to be changing the the hard graffiti to crime just go ahead and censor a couple of these outfits or maybe that, that was the plan all along that if you're going to release a day one patch and you're going to change some stuff that we want you to change and you're going to do it or else we're just not going to release the game so people are upset that this is happening people are upset that the censorship is happening to begin with and mark kern who on twitter goes by grums he used to be a, a team lead on the original world of warcraft he on twitter has been leading a whole campaign of trying to get the original versions 
roots of Stellar Blade restored to what they were. And Asmogold even reacted to uh, this whole information. He's A lot of people have been saying a lot of things about it. There are people on one side, there are people on another side, there are people saying, oh, it's not that big of a deal. You're complaining that you don't get to see enough of anime titties or you don't get to see enough like camel toe and this and that and yada yada. But people are just straight up missing the point. The point that they're missing is the fact that the game got censored in the first place. And if it's not that big of a deal, then why did it get censored in the first place? That's what people are complaining about. This is what me especially that I'm complaining about because I remember back in the day when people were complaining about censored versions of other video games and even anime such as Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and even One Piece back when that was airing on 4Kids. They would censor stuff like Dark Magician Girl's boobs so in certain art for the cards like she would have a little bit of cleavage but then in international releases they would completely censor that. And the 4Kids anime version of, of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh they would also just completely get rid of guns so sometimes someone who's supposed to be holding a gun in a scene is just pointing their finger at somebody anything that's considered religious they would also change that as well so anything that resembles the devil and like devil horns they would just completely get rid of that and like completely change it for the artwork they would change the harpy designs and make them less sexualized for pokemon especially in the earlier generations they would just completely change the sprites in entirely to get rid of drugs and narcotics and of course more religious stuff and the international releases they would change a certain card art in the four kids again in the four kids versions they would even change some stuff that has to do with japanese culture like one of the main infamous things two of the main infamous things that people remember from the censored scenes from the four kids era of pokemon was ash holding a giant sandwich instead of a giant onigiri or when brock refers to onigiri as jelly filled donuts and back to one piece they would get rid of anything sexual so nika robin she would have a little bit of cleavage but that's gone any semblance of guns are completely changed and and narcotics and smoking that's completely changed as well people have been complaining about censorship for a very very long time but when it comes to this for whatever reason a lot of people just don't see it as that big of a deal but if we allow this to happen if we allow censorship to happen in this one game Who's to stop them from continuing this with other games? Sony is already completely okay with uncensored scenes on their store anyways. You can still buy The Last of Us 2 with its whole uncensored sex scene completely intact. Like that's in the game and they've allowed that to be in the game since day one when the game came out in 2020. You're able to go ahead and buy Baldur's Gate 3, which we all know has a whole bunch of like sex and nudity and you can like romance partners and then have sex with them and you can see their uncensored bodies uncensored boobs and stuff like that you're able to see stuff like that i'm not at all by means trying to say that this is wrong and that you shouldn't be including this in your video games but it just seems so weird that they're allowing stuff like cyberpunk where you're able to see fully uncensored genitals and the same thing with Baldur's Gate 3 and the same thing with The Last of Us 2. It's so strange that Sony is allowing those games to be on their stores, on the PlayStation Store, and you're able to go buy these games for the PlayStation console, but a game that's exclusively made so far, they haven't announced a PC release and they haven't announced that they're going to be potentially releasing this on other platforms. So far, it's on only the PlayStation console. It's only stuck on the PlayStation 5. It's so strange that they would allow this game that has all of these costumes that are very sexual but don't show off any nudity but they still decide to censor this anyways it's just a very strange decision i'm not really sure why sony is deciding to do this the director of the game has already announced that it is, is censorship and that this is the version that of the costumes that do exist for the game and they're potentially going to address this sometime further because there's a video of him talking about it I didn't really watch the full thing. I didn't really watch the video. I just know from what I've heard from other people, he has already addressed that there was a censorship censorship made for Stellar Blade. And it's very strange. It's a very highly divisive topic right now. A lot of people are arguing a lot. End of the day though, my whole stance is the game shouldn't have been censored in the first place. If it's not that big of a deal, why was it censored anyways? And I would like there to be a version of the costume whether they want to revert the costumes back to what they once were or they just add the costumes back in through a future patch. I would like the costumes to be featured again because that was the intention that they wanted the costumes to look like. That was how the artist originally drew those costumes. We should allow the artist's intent to be intact for what it was. 
because people don't like censorship except when it's something that they don't like. And, and that's what's currently going on with Stellar Blade. I'm not really sure why a lot of people aren't seeing the big picture for this and why people are actually upset. Nobody's mad that we don't get to see more of Eve's titties. Nobody's mad that we don't get to see enough of her pelvic bone or whatever, right? No one's mad because it's not sexy enough. People are mad because censorship happened when we were promised that it wasn't going to happen. I'm not mad at Shift Up at all. I imagine that they were in a position where they had to make this decision and that sucks and I feel really bad for them, but I'm not really sure what's gonna end up happening further. Again, I would like for these costumes to be reverted back to what they were. I would especially kind of like the gore to go back to what it once was before because it was just a lot cooler to see Eve take down one of the creatures in the game called Nativa. It was really cool seeing Eve take down an alpha Nativa or just an, an elite Nativa and get completely covered in blood. It, like, it looked cool, but it isn't like that for some reason. And I'm wondering why they decided to change that as well, or if Sony told them to make that decision. I don't know. There's a lot of questions left unanswered. I would like to see what ends up happening further as this continues on. Um, I'm probably not going to talk about it in another video. I just wanted people to know my stance about this because this has been something that's been going on for the past couple of days since launch and i felt like i wanted to get my thoughts out there because it's been kind of stuck in my mind and i feel like some people just don't understand uh, i've seen a couple of other creators talk about this on twitter very briefly like mighty keith and mischief and i would have thought mischief of all people would have understood why people were mad about this because quantum tv blatantly tried to censor mischief's words by trying to falsely copyright strike his video and get that video taken down because he didn't like what mischief had to say about quantum tv's quote-unquote review of elden ring but for some reason he's on the side of thinking that this is really stupid and he doesn't understand why people are mad about this he thinks that people are mad because the outfits aren't sexy enough which i just find to be very strange i'm not saying that i don't support these creators anymore i'm not saying i'm mad at mighty keith or i'm mad at mischief i just think it's very strange that these two of all creators that i've seen actually talk about this situation don't understand why people are actually mad about it it's very strange the whole situation is very strange but end of the day that's kind of all I really have to say about it. I hope I've said my piece. I hope that it's coherent. I hope that it makes sense. And I hope that you understand my position in this. And I don't want to argue about this. I just people. Want, I just want people to understand what my perspective is and to understand why I feel this way. And yeah, that's basically it. But regardless, I am still interested to see what people, what people have to say about this topic in the comments down below. So I would be totally down for you to leave your comments talking about the situation and just let me know what you have to say, right? I'm super interested. But regardless of that, and regardless of the situation, that's the end of the video. So leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you do wanna see more. Please turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out, peace.